Hello, how are you doing guys? So uh, I just finished editing a video of my uh, trip to Olafsvík and the uh, Snæfellsnes, the West Peninsula here in Iceland. I went to visit my friend Snorri, aka the West Viking, aka Vargurin, like most of us know him here in Iceland. He's a social media influencer and a star, you could say, on social media. He is uh, first and foremost uh, a professional hunter, also a dog trainer. So in this video we are going to be hunting mink in the islands of Breiðafjörður near Stykkisólmur and um, the reason why we are hunting the mink there or why he is uh, paid by the government or the town council to hunt mink is because uh, we have to or like to keep their numbers down. They were introduced to Iceland because of fur farming decades ago. Uh, few animals escaped from one farm and after only uh, 10 years or so they had overtaken most of Iceland. So uh, they attack and kill a lot of uh, birds and fish. Uh, and these islands that we are in, they were uh, occupied and were home to puffins and other birds before the, they came to Iceland. So um, you don't see them anymore in these islands. So uh, we uh, are doing our best or Snorri uh, to keep their numbers down. I hope you enjoy the nature, even though may many of you will probably get offended by the killings, but uh, this is how we do it here, and this is all legal. So, uh, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> now we're about to head out to the other house where he has his uh, meat dogs. Yeah, all my terriers. Terriers, and uh, they have the job or the responsibility of um, hunting and killing the meat. Okay, so Snorri, now we are here at where the mink terriers are. Um, I see that you have an open uh, or an outdoors facility, like half outdoors. Yeah, indoor outdoor thing. Indoor outdoor thing. Yeah, just because there snows a lot here and I want to keep them dry. I don't want to have to use all my energy to be, you know, taking the snow off your outdoor cages. Yeah, yeah. And so I just built it over, I let it breathe very well. You can see we, get, we, we are letting the light in. And uh, they are only here for the night and part, part of the day. So we are usually often just out hunting. Yeah, yeah. And, and now we're just gonna put the pups in. I'm gonna give them a little bit of uh, food. Yeah. And then we're gonna take the adult dog out. Okay, sounds good. Usually, when you are, you know, breeding dogs and you are teaching them, it starts when you are giving them food. They respect you because you are their leader. So, when I give them food, it's, it's, it's a serious thing, really. So, I, I want to stop them here. I just give them a little bit of sign, they are so young. When I'm pouring the food down, I don't want this to come in. You can see they are they're respecting a lot. You can you can see the how they are they are waiting. Yeah. <laughs> they are chasing you right now. Uh, they won't eat but me. But I don't want them to get over this line here. That is that is what I am trying to, to show you. Okay. And how old did you say they were? They are four months old. Okay. I just want them to be a little bit calm. Shh. <laughs> Listen to me, and then I give a sign just by whistling. You 
can see that they start, they are pretty happy. Yeah. I think they are happy because they know they are doing something with their life. <laughs> with a purpose. Yeah, they have a purpose in life. Yeah, they have a purpose in life. They are basically doing what they were originally bred to do, the yeah, terriers. Exactly. They are just doing exactly what they are bred to. Come in. Nani. Okay, Snorri, I've been watching you uh, getting everything done and prepared. Uh, there is a whole lot of stuff to be prepared and get done right. Yeah, that's exactly the thing, because uh, when you're a hunter, it's not usually the hunt is the, the smallest time, is go through the hunt. But preparing, prepared all year round, that's the big stuff. Uh, I can hear them barking, they know we're coming. Yeah, they know something's up. Misha, Misha, come here. Put it here. Vina. So today, today we have a six dogs. We have Jagger. We have Misha, Tatiana, Loga, and Loga. She is the oldest one. And then we have Nami and Johanna. So six dogs today working finding mink on a boat so we're gonna sail around the islands drop the dogs on the islands follow them and they're gonna locate the minks and we're gonna come in and try to uh, yeah get rid of, rid of some of them I yeah. <laughs> as quick as possible okay okay so we're ready Yes, ladies and gentlemen, now we're driving uh, from Olasvik, the West Vikings hometown. Uh, we're gonna drive uh, for about a half an hour or so through uh, the peninsula here. It is so beautiful in these parts of town. Uh, they often say that this peninsula that we're on, the West Peninsula of Snæfellsnes, is uh, like Iceland in a nutshell because you can basically find everything here that Iceland has to offer. Fishing villages, volcanoes, black sand beaches, gold sand beaches, yeah, lava fields, 
farmlands, nice people like Snorri. And it, all the wildlife. I, I can tell you something. Yeah. Right here, just 300 meters out of here in this beach. Yeah. I swam with 300 whales, pilot whales. Yeah. And uh, saved them for beaching here. Got the footage of that. That was totally amazing, mind blowing. I was just scared shitless watching you swim with 300 whales or more. <laughs> They were kind of disorientated, so you never know exactly what they're going to do when they have huge teeth. So even though they're not known to harm people, it is kind of scary just thinking about swimming with 300 whales. But yeah, we're going to go and search for the mink. We have the boat, the dogs, everything ready. So yeah, let's rock and roll. Ég heiti Pjöldur. Kristján. Gaman að kynnast þér. Sýnum leið. Já, já. Já, 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 já. Það er það. 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 Tatiana, Loka, and uh, one youngster. I came across the field. It's a shipwreck. So this is the first island we're gonna land and let the dog search. Very popular island for me to hunt. Okay. So he likes to be here. I'm gonna hold the dogs a little bit. Ah, hop, hop, hop. channel here between some of the islands and with the uh, tides moving in and out the current here is insanely high and strong it is pretty amazing and interesting at the same time So this is their home court for Christian and, and Snorri. I feel so privileged just to be out here with them. This is so beautiful and amazing country and, and nature and landscape all at once. So 
Christian, you, you do a few tours through here. You have a company called... Called Christian the Captain. Christian the Captain. I like that. So this is your uh, backyard, basically. Yeah, this is my backyard. I go here often. Okay, okay, okay. There's some ice here, so we have to take a detour. We don't want to end up like the, Titi the Titanic. That would be, yeah, bad start to the day. Can I be your Kate to your Leo if, if <laughs> anything goes wrong with his yeah. iceberg? Christian was saying that the oldest eagle that they had, have tagged in Iceland uh, stays in this area. He's what, 28 years old? Yeah, something like that. Look at the view. Dude, <laughs> look at that. So uh, what Snorri is saying, we've located a mink, or the dogs have located a mink. You can uh, tell by how uh, active and excited they become and the tail starts to wiggle a lot. Uh, Snorri is saying that he's probably somewhere here in between the rocks or in in a crack. Very deep, Very deep beneath, but uh, it's obvious the way the dogs are acting that uh, they are smelling a mink. So um, 